Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Fight fans, make sure you copy your tickets to this year's Box Fan Expo. It's going down May 5th, 2018, only in Las Vegas. I'm going to be there. We got a ton of great boxers going to be there. You don't want to miss this. There is a link in the description so you can purchase your tickets right now. Hopefully, I see you guys there. The Canelo Alvarez versus Gennady Golovkin rematch for May 5th is officially off. Canelo withdraws. I was born ready. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash a like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now it is official. May 5th is off. Golovkin may still fight, but Canelo will not be there that night. Bars. Canelo had a small meeting with uh, media and he had an announcement and the announcement was that he was officially withdrawing from the fight may 5th t-mobile arena las vegas there may be a fight but it's not going to be with canelo and i told you guys the writings was on the wall i did a video earlier check it on the channel and it's called canelo sends power punching sparring partner back home to australia golovkin fight likely canceled it was very easy to see. Initially, I was like, nah, they're not going to cancel the fight. But for a while now, I've been telling you, you know what? They are. It's getting serious. They're going to cancel the fight because it just wouldn't make sense, especially the the big the big back to back sequences that let me know was when Nevada State Athletic Commission pushed the hearing back from April 10th to April 18th. And the day before that. It was reported and revealed that the MGM was providing full refunds. That can't be a good sign, right? It's just too many back-to-back -back sequences. Because even if April 18th, they gave Canelo no disciplinary action, which is what I've told you guys in recent videos, they have to do something. Too many people are talking about it. Too many people are pointing the finger. The, the fact of the matter is he failed tests for whatever reason and they're gonna have to keep the rules consistent it's just too many eyes watching this fight and that's what i've been telling you guys in the most recent videos but yeah everything was trending to to go down this way and i think canelo and team and golden boy they knew it's inevitable they know they're getting suspended in some form or fashion probably gonna have to sit out pay a fine at best maybe it gets reduced by 50 percent and it's a six month suspension where if Golovkin keeps his titles, or I guess technically even if he doesn't, they could do the Canelo rematch maybe in September, but Canelo's probably gonna get the one year suspension, whatever fine, maybe up to two years. I don't know for a first time offender, I don't know if they'll pull out the big guns and give him a two year, but probably a one year, which could be reduced to six months for following protocol, protocol and good behavior, but it's official the fight's off you can go to different websites ring tv which is owned by golden boy they tweeted it out which you guys see on the screen at the beginning of this video fight is off fight is off everyone's talking about it and my thoughts is just unfortunate you have to be as an athlete professional athlete when you're in a multi-million dollar fight a rematch something you really want to settle the score the fans want to see you settle the score at the end of the day you, you're responsible for what goes in your body. You know what I mean? So whether Canelo was telling the truth, which is a lot of people think it's unlikely, even if it is true, those tacos or tortas or whatever the fuck you ate in Mexico, it cost you and it wasn't worth it. And being from Mexico, it's not like you're a visitor. Canelo was born in Mexico. I was born in Mexico. You know what I mean? He's born. So you have to know the landscape of where it's not like you're from Australia and you didn't know any better. You know what I mean? That's like, I've never been to Chicago. Shout out to Chicago. 
but there's probably certain rules or certain avenues or streets or alleys that you probably don't want to go down because of the crime rate and maybe they have the gds or some gangs or something like that so it's one thing for me to not be from chicago and to make a wrong turn and not realize it and oh damn i'm in the wrong part of town but if you're from chicago you know if you born and raised there and stuff like that you know what areas that um are kind of off limits at night or you know what i mean whatever the situation is so it, it's really no one else can be blamed even even if it's a canelo oversight maybe he was actually doing something to gain an advantage because listen let's face it he gifted his belt to golovkin and there was a lot riding on this fight and you never know what people will do and jockeying for position and trying to you know what i mean um ensure that they win and have the performance that they they need that's why it's called performance enhancing drugs and see this is the thing just so you guys know peds won't make you a good fighter like if you're weak or you're a bum or whatever you can't just get on peds and you're a phenomenal fighter it gives you other supplemental things but i'm not going to get too much in, into that um who i really feel bad for is gennady golovkin because likely he's going to fight let's say spike o'sullivan i'm not really checking for that fight spike o'sullivan lost to chris eubank jr and he got stopped by him lost to billy joe saunders as well i don't want to see that so hopefully they get like Gilberto Zudo Ramirez or somebody like that. But um, I just feel bad for Golovkin. He 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 was trying to set the record straight. He feels he won the first fight. And now he can't do that. And he can't get that bag. Let me know what you guys think. Breaking news. Canelo versus Triple G is off. Canelo pulls out. Unfortunate. And you never want to see this in a high profile fight. Let me know your thoughts on Canelo. Drop in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego Sunday. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.